Hello there, my name is Cheekster and this is Jotten Slayer. This is exactly like Halls of Torment in my mind, but uh, with more modern graphics, or closer to, that is anyway. I thought it looked really cool. Uh, this is a demo, demo, Hordes of Hell, as you can see here, Hail Champion, so it obviously knows my name. And I've, I've tested it already. Um, with a lot of these games, like especially these bullet hell roguelite ones, I like to sort of have played it before I do the video mainly because some of them I've played have been impossibly hard or impossibly easy and there is nothing there so I quite like knowing there's something worth talking about so doing this reason why is I just wanted to talk about virtues so I've unlocked some of them this is like the skills or the upgrades thing you get in these sorts of survivor like games uh, you've got it, it's, there's only two classes at the moment but as you can see there's other gods as well Thor, Freya and then you've got the Berserker and Seerus those are the, your main classes but we'll get into this in a bit but like as you can see I've up you know all damage up a bit a bit of health regeneration that sort of thing you get these little points up here from your missions I'm not even sure where the crystals come from but any, anywho this is a demo it's not out yet it's expected to be out um, I think it's the end of this year or at least uh, some sort of early access so as you can see, there's two classes available. You've got Berserker. What we're going to do is we're going to do a, a run through of each one. There's only one map. Um, uh, I It actually gets quite hard and I haven't, I don't think I've beaten it yet. Anyway, so you've got those two. There are these other ones. Flame Sister. I don't know what that's about. It looks like a sword. Maybe she's like Ninjury. Who knows? And then you've got obviously an, an Archer of sorts. But when it says Revenant, Apart from thinking of Guild Wars 2, it makes me think of something sort of a magical archer or something sinister. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to do Barbarian, uh, Berserker first. Barbarian, well, I always just call it Conan. Um, I'm going to do the Berserker first uh, and then after that I'm going to do the CRS or Sorceress. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so click through. Uh, you do have, as you can see, different weapon skins which are unlockable in different ways but as you, look as you can see these they have like a, a stun that's critical chance uh, so these weapons are not just cosmetic they also have uh, stat related um, mischief then you've got the body so there are skins for the characters I quite like that I like that the skins because um, in some of these games I, I do wish especially like in survivors I wish there was more costumes you know um, so that's that but look there's a guy with dark hair red hair I'm going red hair you know because that's awesome and then next then you've got these maps you've only got this one at the moment is basic snow on ice with a dragon skull in the middle um, I wish the middle bit was actually like in the when we're in the map I, uh, I wish it was had like a little like group of humans living on it and in it or something like that that'd be great but as you can see look there's different towns uh, Alfheims, yeah, Jottenheims, all the Heims and Guards. Heim and Guard, Heim and Guard, there we go. Right, so you've also got uh, these shield things here. I don't think this is cosmetic, but it affects your gameplay slightly. You've got these modifiers. These modifiers, obviously, I guess they make it harder uh, and easier in different ways. But I've unlocked one uh, currently. And what was this? This is the uh, chance on enemy death, 2% resource bonus, okay? So we'll just have it why not um in we go so with this one of the things that's like really good to, to me one is the art style so we're gonna look we're gonna be looking at that i will be less chatty as the game gets more intense so we start off here i'm instantly getting uh warhammer chaos vibes so man versus tick it's ever the the conundrum so here's your skills you get two got two of the gods i'm going thor I go Thor because he has uh, one called Sentinel, a power that sends like a, a blue lightning man that stands over Thor's hammer and it shoots all the lightning down. And I also go for Thunderstorm. So as you can see, the graphics are pretty cool. They've kind of got that. Um, I'm, I'm thinking Diablo, uh, like Diablo. Uh, maybe not three, around two. And so you. Ha oh, hang on. Sentinel, see blue man, right? This thing is your ability, your class ability. And it throws out all this stuff. It's damaging and all that, all that sort of cool bits and bobs. This space is the dodge, and I love dodges in these games. I didn't think that I would love a dodge, but 
actually the more um, I get into it, the more I start to feel like, oh yeah, actually this is amazing. Um, actually, sorry, we'll we'll look into those abilities uh, when they next come up. You get these blue points in here, goes like the braziers. There we go. Braziers. <laughs> there we go. All the good stuff. Right, so forgive me, I do get injured quite a lot because I'm a crazy man. Then you've got like your own class also comes up as a, a skill type that you can do. So you've got your passives here, um, damage, and then this one's like throwing a whirling axe. Oh, let's have a look at that. I don't think I've seen that one before. We're having that one. Okay, it's a bit like that Holy Bible. I may accidentally refer to other games in this genre. Swirling Axe 2, Throw Axe. I'm going Swirling Axe 2. Just... I'm never sure in these games whether you should focus on upgrading like 1 to getting close to the max. Uh, or whether you should like water it out and do lots of different attacks. You know, because like... Yeah, so this is like some Dragon Skull. I can't say it would be nice if there was like little people living in it watching. That would be quite cool. Maybe cheering on when you're killing. So yeah, how do I feel about it? I like the game. I I have played a whole bunch of these recently, like in a row, and um, this this one this one stands out to me. I know it's only a demo, but it stands out to me because it's the art style is re is something I really resonate with. I mean, I'm always in the Viking zone. I quite like that sort of vibe. Uh, it's too. And yeah, look, it's just it's just a great image, you know, it's a great vibe, great atmosphere. Now there's only one map, and there's only two classes at, at this point in time. So just hit my uh, class ability there, or Q ability. Yes. Now I must warn you, um, I have not actually. Why is he blue? That feels relevant. Should I kill him? Why are you blue? I can't seem to injure him. What? I don't like this situation. Why is there now two of them? That's not happened to me before. I don't know what I've done. Okay, go, 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 go. So when you click, you face the way. Face the way. Okay, what have we got? Lightning strike. So I like to go, it's tricky, sometimes I go like safety, I go down the safety route, it depends on how my day's gone, so if I'm feeling vulnerable and soft, I might go on like defences, stuff like that, you know, but then if I've had a wild day where I've been conquering, much like a viking, I get this feeling that I have to go all out damage and crit. Ooh, lightning storm, upgrade that, I love lightning storm. It's the effects. Uh, I can't blame it on me because, to be honest, it actually came about after watching the Sith. Oh, what's this? Pull all experience crystals in a large area. No, that's useless right now. Um, oh, a magnet. Just read the title. Right, Bloodlust, yes. As you can tell, I've had quite a good day. Um, yes, good. What are these blue fiends that are invincible? Have I done something to make Invincible Earns good? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Right, so we're going to these things over here. Shit. There's just no surrender in me. I don't know what it is. I won't quit. Okay, here we go. So this is like your, your bog standard. Simple bad guy. See, this is why I love dodge. I feel every one of these games now needs a dodge. Uh, wait, uh, more power. More. More of it all. Everywhere. Whatever, mate. Whatever. Okay. Give me the goodness. I'm taking quite a bit of damage, but I am... You, you have to get melee with these guys, obviously, because, you know, I'm a berserker. I've got, got the axes. But like, like as a, as a seeress or sorceress, oh look at this, see Chaos Warrior from um, Vintage Warhammer. So probably if you're not a major Warhammer person but you play Total Warhammer, uh, like the Total War games, you'll recognise them. 
if you're a weirdo who plays Age of Sigma, then uh, you'll be like, oh, I guess that's one of them. Or whatever. Because I ducked out of that as soon as I turned. Maybe Okay, moving around. Let's get our second bandido. I'm just going to stay in his face. Oh, did you see that? Where I moved, I actually pushed him. And this is something I really like, is that like you have like a physical effect on the enemies. You don't just walk through them. Like, look, you, know, you push them and you walk through. I know I was taking damage. Uh, subclass. Okay, so you can go up. Oh, 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 oh. Then you've got cooldown on god skills. Yeah. Regeneration. Oh. I am trying to show you something and I'm probably going to die in three seconds. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to click on uh, damage. So it's... Uh, there's plenty of chicken. Finger licking chicken at that. I do, I, I, oh hang on, there we go, ooh, cutting edge. I, I don't like this, I don't know what this is about, this is new. Unkillable. Wait a minute, is that the crystal I enacted in the, be in the beginning before we got into the mission? Okay, I'm just having none of it. I've got the power of Thor behind me, literally. Okay, whatever. Get out of the way, archers. Now, this thing up here is pretty fruity. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something good. See this golden thing? This is what you would know in the business of as loot goblins. There we go. They're quite easy to kill, to be honest. And you know what? I like that. Because when they're really difficult to, to kill, you find yourself chasing them, running around the map, not knowing what you're doing. I'm going towards the treasure chest. And... Yeah, like, I thought Treasure Goblin should be pretty straightforward to take down in a single player experience, 100%. That, that, that raises a really interesting question, and I think you're right. Is, is there co-op? I don't know. Um, but I will be playing this when it comes out into early access, like it even can fly. Um, oh, oh, increased damage. Uh, that was a hard choice. Okay, treasure chest. Yeah, I like this. I like this Diablo vibe. Bloodlust. I went for bloodlust. These blue ones are really cramping my style, and my style is pretty in trouble at the moment. I don't know why I'm clicking my mouse because I don't have to. Get off me, blue fiend. Right, okay, so this next phase is an unusual one. I, I don't understand it properly yet. Uh, bear in mind, I've only played maybe, I don't know, an hour or something. Maybe 90-ish minutes. That thing, that horn, when you blow that horn, it makes you healthier. Um, I'm not sure where they got that idea from. But, yeah, because that doesn't make sense, does it? Cause when you blow a horn, that's like a buff. Do you know what? When when you blow the horn, what they should what should happen? Your Valkyries come down, and I'm not saying that it has to be an all-out oilage. I'm just saying that like maybe right, I've started the curse of winter. Ooh, this guy. Get it, get it. He's, they're not that hard. All right, and I got a chest. I like power abilities. Like, I don't really care about the gold. Do you know this chicken? It'll stay there and you can see it on the map afterwards. Which is really good because, like, I like chicken. And I particularly don't like missing out on chicken. Ugh. These blue banditos. I got these from that, that buff not buff thing, didn't I? Right. Oh, I'm regening. That's where, where I'm getting my health back. See, that's what you've got to do when you play like me. So I don't know what you think about like the style. Obviously, comment like you know like. Let's have a dialogue about these types of games. I really like them. Uh, I didn't think I would. I uh, never thought I'd play Vampire Survivors, and then there I was, you know, giving it a go. Ooh. Has winter ended? I completely lost the track of the winter. 
are so like self-absorbed in my own insanity, you know, like lavering myself up in the soap of shame. I didn't even realise that maybe winter had ended. Hello. It's frosty over there. That's beautiful, though, isn't it? I love the style. Do you know what I would really like is if Blizzard made a game like this, you know, with all the Warcraft characters, but not in a cartoony way. They actually did it in this gritty, like, so imagine if they, they brought Thrall, like, uh, Thrall's a, you know, in the beginning he was an icon, obviously he got a bit soft after a while, but like, um, and you can blame it on him getting older, whatever you need to do to get through the night, but, um, yeah, like a gritty one of these, like gritty orcs, gritty humans. So I don't think it should be cartoon. I know that makes sense, obviously, for the longevity. But I would like a sort of photorealistic Warcraft. And then maybe you could... Not Heroes of the Storm. I'm not inventing Heroes of the Storm. It's not what I'm doing. It's a different type of game. Stop it. No, what, I, what I'm talking about is... Oh my god. It's the idea that... Um, that you could have like a, a really gritty Warcraft game where like Warcraft was going back to its violent roots. Why did they jump into there? I'm not looking at it, I'm looking at the map in the middle of it. Keeping that health thing there, I might need it. These blue guys are cramping it, man. Oh, jeez. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Yes. Right, lightning. Uh, actually thunderstorm. Thank you very much. But yeah, don't expect me to actually defeat this round. I haven't. I've played this for like over an hour and I haven't beaten it once. Which, to be fair, like I have played a lot of Vampire Survivors and I beat it most of the time. So, is it me or is it the game? Obviously me, but we're going with the game today. Evil Dead. Ah, oh, that's what it is. These are the Evil Dead. Wouldn't it be funny if they were laughing? No, that would get really annoying in about five seconds. Sacrificial pylons, let's do it. Okay. The good thing about the, like, you know, the jumping forward bit, what I really like about that with the dodge, is it enables you to move quicker through the map as well. Okay, let's do this. Oh, this is blue. Animals. Undead animals. Yeah, slay it, king. Slay it. Damn, yeah, that's good. What have we got? Damage nearby enemies when entering rage. Increase weapons attack range. Increase the damage of each skill. So, yeah, I love that. Right, moving on, moving on. Sometimes that that Q ability does the AOE stuff. Oh my god, it's Mexican waving me with the undead. Day of the dead wave. Don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, this is really escalating. Okay, uh, goddess. Reward gold for everything. Increase the damage of all here. Trying to move. No. Right. What do we need? We need some chickens. Out of the way. I'm chicken hunting. I haven't got time for your blue nonsense. I don't like bomb ones. Right, I did get that chicken, but not a lot really happened. I'm going straight to the mall. The monster of monsters. Oh, level 20. Uh, should we do Freya? Increase damage of all hero skills. Now you can do. Is it banish or reroll? Come on. Banish a card or reroll. So maybe you can't get it again? I don't know. That doesn't explain it. Reroll. Critical hit, stun enemies. Upon taking a hit, there's a chance to strike multiple enemies. I quite like that. Chain lightning is, what I, is the vibe I'm thinking it is. Okay, let's get fruity. Head banging. Okay, oh gosh. Oh my goodness. 
I don't know how to dodge all of that. Okay, people, we need to get away from him. Oh my goodness. See, I'm no good at this, this one. I don't know why I can't beat this monster. I haven't beaten him yet. I'm probably not gonna. Nice. Oh my! I'm relying on my range attacks, really. Oh, da, 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 da. Okay. Like I said, I'm never going to beat it. I'm just going to accept that that's the way it is. Right, quit raid. So we're going to do the sorceress next. Uh, now I like the sorceress. I might, I actually, or seeress. I prefer her more to the barbarian because I think in these games, like, so if it's fir if it's like first third person and you're controlled like that, I quite like melee a lot. In first person, I like shooting primarily, but I don't mind a bit of melee, like a mix. You know, like if you get like a sudden something like that, like with a knife. But in these games, I find all melee very challenging because, like, it starts restricting your movement abilities. You've got to be close enough, and I don't know. But anyway, as you can see, we've got a bunch of these. Now, when I upgrade here, it up upgrades, as you can see at the bottom, only for Berserker. And then here, only for the Seeress. But the gods, you can upload for everybody. Health regen. Yep. Massacre. What's that? Slay chance, 15%. Mm. All the damage. All damage. All night. All long. Right, we're going Seeress. Now, she's pretty cool. I like her, and I'm going to... It doesn't show any other costumes, but as you can see, there will be. Same with Sticks. She loves the stick. There we go. And then you... Remember the maps. doesn't matter. I'm not turning that on, because I don't like those blue people. You know, I don't play this for the Smurfs, and I'm not starting now. Again, the style, it's got a great vibe. Um, <clears throat> I hope somebody, you know, like big picks this up and plays it. That would be very cool. And you see, I love the range in this. Yeah, I do think this game deserves a little shot. Like, right, Seeress. Now I like the Seeress' stuff. I don't like any of these abilities though. Should we reroll just for fun? Oh, blah, blah, blah. okay. I don't like any of these either. Temporal trap. Oh, I might. I like mind blast. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. See, when she gets hit, she hits. Uh, she creates a sif purple bubble. One thing I would say is I would like the crystals to be a different color, like or varying colors. Dark wisps, or I like dark wisps. Okay. You see the visual effects of the sorceress. Are, uh, I'm calling her sorceress. I'm just going to do it, okay? Because serious is just not not a word for me. All right, but I love the graphic of, the graphics of it. Strangely, it's got the graphics of something that when I was younger I would have said it's like photorealistic in my mind. Ooh. Give me lightning. Give me lightning. See, because thing with the lightning because it's like purple it kind of there's not enough color variants like I feel like they should have all been blue ideally or maybe turned purple only with this class white raven time manipulation yeah let's have a magnet because I want to get a few more skills there we go She's quite potent, as you can see. Uh, ooh, mind Blast too. I like Mind Blast. Why do I like Mind Blast? Because um, I feel in these games, it's always good to have like a direct target ability where you can aim yourself to um, hit like a boss and then have lots of AoE for the, uh, the plebs. Look at these plebs. Do love the effects. But a lot of the effects are purple. And I feel like that's something that needs to sh be shifted. 
Like, light, all the lightning should be white blue. That's just my opinion. Doesn't mean it has to be that way. Uh, ooh, a arrow. Bestow curse upon enemies upon critical hit. That's probably really good. I know that what I want to try that. Uh, oh, sorry, that was my Q ability. Very scythe. Like as well as like, like with the witch, like when you hit the subclasses, like if you. I think there's, it could change the colour of the powers. So if it's like a more undead variant, the power should go green. Right? If it's like um, witchcraft arcane, it'll be this this purple. And then blood magic, it could be all red. I, even if it doesn't make any difference otherwise, I feel like that would be a really nice touch. I don't know what you think. Maybe Maybe I'm insane, but all damage. really do a sentinel right now. I like the sentinel ability. Am I walking into the enemies? Yes. Will I do it again? Yes. That's what I wanted. See I love sentinel because it, it hits a lot of a lot of enemies pretty quick. There we go. You've got a chicken out of it. We should go. We'll go kill some uh, bossaroos. Okay. This was actually a lot harder when I first started it with no trip, no upgrade points. It was like the point where I was just like, oh my god. Right. Dark wisps too. Extra wisp bitch. Whatever. Whatever. Excellent. Okay. Oh, oh look, that, that was good in the fight. Oh, look at that. That wants it. Okay. But yeah, what do you think about the vibe of this? Like, how do you feel about like the how it looks? I mean, to me, I I love the look. I love the look. I, 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 like I say, I like the Diablo look. I, it's very Warhammer-esque as well, which I guess Warhammer is heavily taken from uh, the Nordic stuff, which is to be expected because it's very cool. See, I'm using that that focused ability to try and bring him down. Sometimes I like to come here as a sort of like semi sort of reset. Because it gives me a visual area, like cue, to look at the ground. And then when the stuff comes up on the map, I'm not going that far. Alright, 10 minute mark. Right, let's do this. We need to get to the treasure goblin. Ooh. The hag. You see, this is what I was talking about, the colours. So if you had hag, like, it could come up as um, all damage, so blood magic. Or, or maybe all purple, right? Then collecting the crystals in, I would go red, like soul magic, like sucking in. And then witch, that could be, like, green. And have undead. And maybe spawn your own undead minions. Like zombies that are not the same as the enemies around. But I'm going hag. Hag all the way for a shift sat on my leg for too long and now it's like got that funny feeling but like I'm not laughing which is like me playing this game sometimes because I can't win yes I do feel they've nailed the that like the witchy vibe with this though it's the Morrigan you know it's Morrigan Le Fay for me I'm going away from my treasure goblin just I'm getting too excited One of the things I've often wondered, I don't know if you have an answer, 
what what would be the best thing to do like when you're filling in your upgrade points for these sorts of games is it good to just put a few points in say like uh, the gem uh, magneting because like quite early on like in a game sometimes it can, it can be a big deal breaker getting enough spells to be able to defend yourself and then is it worth is it worth going all damage or all health? Because that's something I've always wondered. Because, why, why do I wonder that? I wonder that because like, if I'm going all health, then I'm not doing enough damage. But if I go all damage, I might glass cannon, which is obvious. But I don't know if in these games, whether it really makes sense to go extreme or whether it makes more sense to diversify. But yeah, let me know because I like, that's a legit question from someone who's just discovered this genre of gaming and is really enjoying it. Oh yeah, okay. So we're going to go for a Freya option. Valkyrie Descent. Divine Wave. Oh, I like Divine Wave. We'll have a bit of that. That's another question. Is it good? Right, do you think it's good like, to take on lots of abilities or to hunker down on a, on a hand-picked view? You know, and then upgrade them as much as possible. I do wonder. Oh, we're coming to the eight minute mark. More damage. More damage. More damage. How much damage? More. Lots of... Yes. Yes. More. I like some of the area it breaks apart. What would be really nice if, if there were like actual structures within these maps. I found that like in Halls of Torment, I thought put more buildings in it. Like so I used to, like in the first map you have this thing where you can stand with like some, I don't even need to play, right, I'm that good. Like, wait, hang on, like you have like pillars and stuff and that's really cool, like this right, which was really cool. But I did wonder to myself actually like, you know, like, wouldn't it be nice if there was actual buildings? And you use these buildings, like, to your advantage. This guy is fruiting it up. Jeez. Yes. Oh, what was it? It's his final shot, just at all damage, 30%. God, that's good, isn't it? Critical chance, 15%. Don't care about gold. Oh. Oh. I see you. Right. Uh, dark wisps. Oh. Look at that. Okay. I see you. Okay. Let's begin the age of cold. It's chilly. My name's Willy. Look at that. There we go. Yeah, more structures. That would be amazing. Can you imagine like, if there was like a place in this where there's lots of like Viking longboats or like, like skeletons of them and you have to navigate around them and you help create paths to create kill zones. That would be really fun. There is a treasure chest up north, isn't there? I don't really understand what the Curse of Winter does. I think it makes more... creates waves, maybe? Maybe it's creating waves? Level 15. More Thunderstorm, thank you very much. Why Thunderstorm? It's a really good question. It looks cool. That's it. Sorry. Get over it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, that was about. Right, so we're going to go north up to the chest. But I love that it keeps the stuff up here. Now, the healing vessel is cool. But what I don't like about the healing vessel is, is like when you get the boss at the end. Because you get pulled into that place and you can't get to it. Explody eyeballs. Now, what are they called? What are those eyeballs called in D&D? &D? You know, the floating eyeballs, the petrifying things. What are they what are they called? Beholders. Eye of the Beholder. No? Right. I need Thor. 
Movement speed and attack speed. Yeah, I think I'm going to need that with the boss. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mind Blast. Three. Oh, it's going to do more damage. No, I want this though. I, I want to use this Mind Blast then to mess. I'm in a defensive position at the moment. No, my day was going well. It's just that like, I'm not sure when, when you get like a... I feel very powerful now, but like if they get close, it just all goes wrong very, very quickly. Chicken. Okay, I'll go for chicken. Let's have a look. Chicken. Chicken. There we go. Flip in bird's eye, mate. No. Bird's eye's fish, isn't it? Captain Bird's Eye. You probably don't know who that is. I do know that he is a Playmobil man. I knew it would come back. All that extra damage. Because sometimes when you play these, like, when you get loads of damage, you notice you burst the health bar out of the boss really, really, really quick. And that's a really enjoyable thing. You see a boss and you're like, oh my god, it's all over, and then suddenly you nuke him. Okay, in we go. In we go. Come and be sacrificed. Sacrificial skeletons. Sacrificial lice. What is this, like a bony tree? Not that it's actually helpful, but it'd be nice if you could zoom in and out. It'd actually be nice if you could zoom right out, like really far. Could you imagine? That'd be insane. Might not work though, I don't know. I was using the pillar of this to, to block the waves. Birdies. Oh my goodness. It does get frisky, I've got to be honest. Explosion range. Freeze enemies around with the algebra. Increase invulnerability time. Mm. I like that a lot. There is no invulnerability. There is only vulnerability for these animal fiends and beasts. The suckers of the Nephilim. You won't catch me. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Okay, one more of these. Then I think it's the boss man. Captain boss man. Come on. Sometimes I view like collecting those crystals as like being the bully and taking everybody's pocket money. Ooh. It's faster and faster with every unused Eldritch charge. I don't know what these Eldritch charges are. I think they're the things over her head. Increase the duration of all positive buffs. Increase movement speed of, for every enemy with non damaging. I don't know. Chicken me up. Okay, so. Boss man's up no is up north. In the middle. Oh! Oh, I'm on a rock. Let's get rid of him first. Because he might drop some good, goody good goods. Yeah. We're going regeneration. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to be reminded about it. Yeah, I can do the right thing when I want to. Right, hopefully that chicken stays in the zone. Remember, I will not survive, but we'll get a little flavour of what it's like with the witch, and then we'll be mostly done with the vid. So, he's stolen my chicken. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Um... 
all damage. Goodness. God, I love that. It's very machine gunny. This guy's hot on the trail. He really aims at me, man. I'm stuck on a rock. I'm stuck on a... That was unfair. There's something wrong with the game. I don't think we can buy it now. Okay, let's quit. Okay, cool. I really enjoyed that. Oops. So, wish list it with totally worth wish listing if you like the if you like these sorts of games like if you like halls of torment i feel like this is the natural next one to go for a hundred percent as we saw these were the virtues lovely stuff not too worried about that at the moment so let's just rest on this for a second so yes yes what do we think about these cool cats i like the melee one uh the berserker um he, oh, i'm not always a fan of of melee in these games but if I was gonna do melee I quite like this character I like that they have beards I like that they are big sweaty men who are strong they're not like skinny running around he doesn't have like a fear mechanic I love that you know he's just a solid dude and he's smashing through things it's a proper warrior character the axe although like I've sometimes wondered about the effectiveness logically of an axe in war only because like I'm you know like I did battle reenactment once and they used axes really just to pull shields down rather than actually attack with them as much um, obviously getting hit by an axe is not ice cream is it but you know this but anyway I'm off track this class is cool I like him he's cool I like I like the his own abilities which are like you've got like a spinning kick lots of you've got a throwing axe you've got uh, like spinner rooney axes going all around if you would like that booker t reference it's very cool and i like that and then you can mix his physical prowess is uh with um the power of like thor or or like you have to hold is it freya with the holy power i can't remember but she was really cool and i really liked that i really like that about the class then this class now she's really cool I really like her. I love the ma the magic uh, angle. I am concerned that the color of her magic is obviously because it's the same color as the Thor color, which it shouldn't be. I think the Thor color should be blue. It it makes it all a bit too purple. That's a really silly nitpick, but like if we were like consider it, it's a demo and it's in like early access and all that, like. It's not the worst criticism, is it? I mean, I love the game. I think it flows well. I love the dodge dodge roll uh, thing being added into this. I know it's in some other games, which is cool. And it's good that it's in this. It really gives it that, that oomph. And I love that. I would like that dodge mechanic in Horns of Torment, to be honest. But this game, yeah. it's like So the magic feels good. I'll, sometimes I'm not sure about what all the abilities are doing. There are some mechanics at play, like with the witch. I don't really understand what she's what she's doing necessarily as a skill it's like little crystals i don't know what that's about now obviously i could just research that but if you're someone just picking it up you probably won't worry too much about researching it that said it's a great class i really i prefer this class uh to the berserker but the sorceress needs more variation like maybe in like the the looks of the spells the color thing like when it comes to the the three subclass thing i think that's when you should take the opportunity to just change the colors of it and make it more fun because like one of the things i really loved about say like vampire survivors which is obviously the the king of the the hill with these things all the spells look different and you could see that you'd you just added bazooka or whatever you know <laughs> the missile launching one from the guns expansion thing that we did you know you can see all the different abilities and you it's supposed to look messy it's supposed to look like an eclectic mess you know and i i really like and i really like that and i feel like although this is quite clean i would really like to still have that sort of that messiness because that messiness kind of implies i'm overwhelmingly powerful and that i'm destroying things with all the magics in the universe and this game these sorts of games i feel do really well with that sort of uh that sort of vibe yeah but the movement feels good the combat feels movement's good combat's good uh the aesthetic is really cool um the character the two character classes already that we have are really good 
and very enjoyable as it is so i can imagine the other two being quite interesting one of them i'm not sure it looked like it had, she had just like one she looked like a small ninja but then it mentioned something about fire so maybe she does lots of fire abilities and then you had that archer called the revenant i think it was that sounds really cool especially if it's if there's if it's more to it than just being an archer if there's like a sort of magical aspect to it like something like that i would start thinking like more towards the loki-esque vibe i don't know if something like that something like more trickster-esque uh controlling the map uh that might be quite cool co-op i don't know i didn't see anything about co-op um didn't see anything about it but yeah there's there's some of that oh look you got all these different graphics shadow Qu i haven't even got it on max graphics good lord and i thought it looked great anyway it doesn't matter um which is strange hey who cares it was great so what would i say one you can't buy this yet it's a demo i've just played a demo uh there is so i mean this is like a good evening this is like an evening of having a go on it maybe you could do this one and another one at the same time but i would totally wish list this like just keep an eye on it because this could turn into something quite fun would it be as big as um halls of torment i don't know it could be there's no reason why why not uh the style is nice i do love the realism of it uh It'd be interesting to see the other maps as well, particularly see other mobs. Like the skeletons are fine. I like the skeletons, the beefy skeletons. Uh, you know, best skeletons in the world, really, and very good. Uh, but it'd be nice to see more mob variety in the different maps. But yeah, so there you are, guys. That is my take on Jot and Slayer Hordes of Hell demo. I've loved it I will play it again and then when it comes out uh, like in early access with more maps and more stuff is added into it uh, I will play it again and I'll, and if as soon as it comes up as a purchasable option I will I will buy it even if I didn't play it again just to pay for it because I've had like a good you know hour or a couple of hours or something on this and had a lot of fun doing it uh, yeah so until the next video my name is Cheekster Subs like and subscribe obviously and bye bye